Developing tonight, we now know that a young father was one of the victims of a deadly head-on crash Saturday morning in Katuit. Family members tell us tonight that Kevin Quinn was driving home from the hospital where he was visiting his wife and their newborn daughter when he was hit. WBC's Gary Broad says that friends and family are rallying to support that wife and a baby girl who will now grow up without her dad. Kevin Quinn's wife tells us her husband was on his way home from the hospital. The two just had a baby three days earlier, but he never made it back home. It was here on Route 28 where another car crashed into him. Quinn was taken to the hospital where he then died. A Marine, a husband, and a new dad. Just one of those guys that just couldn't wait to start a family. And Rob Dynan was a longtime friend. He believes at 32, Kevin Quinn's life ended before it really began. I immediately felt like somebody hit me in the chest with a sledgehammer and I couldn't breathe. I... Sorry. I just I couldn't fathom it. I couldn't wrap my head around it. Quinn had just visited his wife, Kara, and their newborn, Logan, when he was heading home around midnight Saturday. Another car went into Quinn's lane and hit him. Quinn was supposed to take his two girls home later that morning. I know Kara and, and Logan, uh, they're going to need all the help they can get for a long, long time. It's Quinn spent two tours in Afghanistan, then coming back to Mashpee to start a business and a family. After hearing of his death, Quinn's friends set up a GoFundMe page with a goal of $10,000. Within hours, they met it, and the number continues to skyrocket. It just hit over 60000 Wow. <laughs> 60000 That's amazing. I guess our faith in... in the fact that people really do care was renewed when we saw how fast this grew. The police say the driver of the other car died instantly. His passenger was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. If you'd like to donate to Kevin Quinn's memorial, we put a link up on our website. Go to cbsboston.com. In Katuit, Gary Broad, WBZ News.